Hey everyone, I'm Nicholas, and I'm your troubleshooter today. Jaina from Theramore asks, Hello, I was streaming to YouTube yesterday, and everything looked fine on OBS. But when I looked at the YouTube backend, I saw a message saying, please use a keyframe frequency of four seconds or less. What does this mean, and how can I fix this? Well, Jaina, what you are encountering is an issue with the keyframe interval, also known as GOP size. This issue can happen when your encoder, for you OBS, is using an automatic keyframe interval instead of having it at a set value. Today, I will explain what exactly keyframe interval means, why it matters, and how to fix your issue. So, before we fix the issue, what exactly is keyframe interval or GOP size? Well, GOP stands for group of pictures, which consists of I and P frames, and sometimes B frames. An I frame in streaming, also known as a keyframe, is the most important frame. The iframe is a spatially compressed encoded frame that doesn't reference any other frame. On the other hand, P and B frames are predicted and bi-directional predicted frames, and they're very efficient. This encoding structure is really efficient and it's how H.264 streams, what the majority of streams uh, to YouTube and Twitch are, don't take a toll on your internet usage. What keyframe interval or GOP size will set is how frequently there is an iframe and how many B or P frames there are. For example, if I set a keyframe interval of two seconds, I will get an iframe every two seconds and the rest will be P frames typically, unless I enable B frames. This is something you can do, but for now we won't worry about that. So working with a two second keyframe interval, I will have one iframe followed by 59 P frames if my stream is set to 2997 or 30 FPS. If I have my stream set to 5994 or 60 FPS instead of 30, that will mean I have one iframe and 119 P frames. Now, GOP size is the exact same thing. However, setting the frequency of the iframes is done in terms of video frames instead of seconds. So, in the professional video encoders that we use, we can set the GOP size for our video streams. We will need to know what frame rate our video is, and then we'll multiply that frame rate by how many seconds we want for our keyframe frequency. Since we typically work with 2997 frame rate, we'll round that up to 30, and then we'll multiply that by two since we want a two second keyframe interval. That will give us a GOP size of 60. And again, this will change based on your frame rate and what the platform will want for your keyframe interval. So, a 5994 or 60 FPS video signal would want a GOP size of 120, or a 23967 or 24 FPS video signal would want a 48 GOP size. All right, first I'm gonna start with the keyframe frequency in vMix. Now there's two different places that you can make this change. One is on the SRT streams, and then the other is RTMP streams, which if you're going to YouTube or Twitch, you're gonna to wanna to change that setting. But first let's show how to do it on SRT. So if I go to the cog wheel next to external, if I click on that, I'm gonna to wanna to choose output, NDI, SRT settings. This will bring up all of our control for outputs, NDI and SRT. And then where I wanna make the change is in this cog wheel next to whichever stream I want. So if I click on the cog wheel, this will bring up all of my SRT settings. If I click into this cog wheel, however, this actually brings up those kind of presets. And then right here, the keyframe frequency. So as you can see, uh, it's, it's in terms of seconds, which we're at two right now. So that works out well for us. But here I can change it so I can change it to one second, to three seconds, to four seconds, whatever I want. We like two seconds, so I'm just going to keep with that and I'm gonna save that. So that's it for SRT. But now for RTMP, which is what we kind of want to do for streaming to actual platforms, I'm gonna click onto this cogwheel next to the stream button. And then here, this is the uh, URL, this is the stream key. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the other one and go to the cogwheel. This cogwheel will do the same, same thing. If I look at the bottom, the settings shared across all streams, this is where I have the keyframe frequency. And again, I have a drop down so I can adjust all that I want for this. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at OBS and how to change the keyframe interval in OBS. So first things first, we have our controls tab here and then we have our settings here. So we can go to the settings there. If you don't see this, all you can go is go to the file and then go to settings in here. And this will bring up our settings for OBS. So we have general, we have stream, we have output. So if you go to stream, this is our, this is our the server that we'd go to in our, in our stream key. 
We don't care about those for this. We want output. So if I go to output and I'm currently in advanced, so if most likely people will be in simple, and this is what a lot of people will see. You have your streaming settings and your recording settings. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to change it from simple to advanced. The encoder settings is what we want for the stream. So right here we have keyframe interval. Zero is an automatic one, um, but in terms of, you know, I want to be precise with it, I want to make sure that I have two seconds. Because this is a thing where it's like, oh, I had a four second one. That is likely because this was set to zero instead of the two seconds. So I can just click the arrows to change that to two seconds and we should be all good. And then I would just click apply and okay. And that's it for OBS. I know that every video encoder or streaming software is different, but Jaina, I hope that this video helped you fix your streaming issue. Do you have any live production problems that you want us to troubleshoot? Comment them below and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Videos are welcomed and encouraged. We'll recreate the problem and show you how to fix it. See you next time.